depth-wise, I definitely like what Los Pochachos have much more. Really? I think so. I mean, I I like Morphling. I like their heroes, I guess, individually, and I think they fit together their team fight pretty well. Okay, I mean, but do you see that? Do you see what that just is? Do you see that level 16 gold IO spammer? Does that just outweigh any need for stuns? Is Whisk yep. that good? Yep. Alright, like, I mean, dude. You might be right. Like I said, I've only seen one or two games with Wisp on the patch, and every time he's dominated, so. I shouldn't bet I'll just against be watching it. IO. <laughs> I just want to play IO as of late, honestly. I don't know. This here is so fun. Don't you think Omnimorph is pretty nasty? Like, morph in a game like this where they already don't have any he's stuns, and you've got an Omni Knight to back him up, like. And a warlock. You've got a great supporting cast for this already scary hero. I think the OD pick is too good, and I think the IO pick might be too good. But I agree that the no stuns is still an issue. Yo, speaking of the patch and all these new eggs and everything. We uh we attempted to make use of the tiny agonims the other day. Lost in the woods, are ya? <laughs> it was <laughs> so me and Fog have been doing these morning queues and we have a couple guys we play with now. And we had a game where we convinced our random player to pick Magnus. And he leveled up his empower and we got tiny with the agonim and then we were empowering him, <laughs> so we channeled the, the tree to throw them. It was pretty great, not gonna lie. With the cleave damage dude, it absolutely obliterates. <laughs> Unfortunately, our random Magnus player was also our worst player. And at one point in the game, on our comeback train, he hit a four-man RP, and as Tiny was channeling the uh, Aghanims into him, he skewered them all out of the Aghanims, and we lost. Holy shit, dude. They just killed three of them, and Pika did not get that bounty. Talk about undying in the early levels. He's got plus 24 right now, big dog. Yeah, I really thought that first kill was going to happen, and that would be it. Uh, and I kind of looked away. I'm, I'm not sure how that happens. Well, Quap did not skill Blink. She went Dagger, so... I mean, that's fair. A, yeah, but she's a pretty easy kill once you get on top of her, so that's how that one happened. They just ran him down. I'll be honest, I was actually uh, tabbed out tweaking some stuff as well. I need to get these uh, team logos set up. All oh, right, we need a new thing. It's incredible with that. The, uh, the tree amp blocks, that, that is the truth. I mean, that, that's literally the only way to make it happen, right? And he manages to do it. He's going to get the denies on his trance, too. A nice plays here. Oh, look at this damage again. Dude, they're doing it again. He's dead. Warfling's done. Oh, my God. Ball seven. All right. Can I, uh, can I change my bet? I'm all in on Team Romania. Yeah, you goofed. What were you thinking? Now, I, I, did, you I did preface it by saying the Romanian team is much stronger. So. True. Covered my bases. Is this even worth setting up the flags here? I don't think it is. Is it even worth setting up the flags? No, that's a fair question. Let's see. I gotta save these. Oh, they blocked the camp. <laughs> Alright, Flash is going for the two minute room. Let's see what he finds. Oh. Bone seven? Okay. Guys doing neutral. That was just a TP back home. Yeah, I guess at that point it's gonna take too long to get to a tower anyway, right? Might as well just do a neutral. All oh, the changes to that. But Morph already down to 100 HP bottom. He has four tangos left, but the Luna's got five. And uh, the Io has a salve and a tango remaining too, so tough times ahead here. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, it's 13 and 6 to the 4 and 1 on the Queen of Pain. One second. Flags are a go. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you know your international flags. I hope you've got the Romanian one nice and large right now. Um, it's, uh, it's a pretty I, small I beat size. that thing up a little bit. All right, all right. Let's, uh... Okay, I'm back in it. I'm in it to win it. Okay, this queen's getting handled. Uh, Morphling's dead. <laughs> She's... 
So Tusk more is rotating mid for the uh, attempt to save this lane, and the Morphling dies because of it. Uh -oh. And now he just TP's right back into level two. So Ori, my brother, he's going to get bone seven. He's going to get booped. Man, this Undying pick couldn't have worked out any better. 4-1-1 one one at three minutes, Trent. When you pick Undying, this is what you see. You're seeing red. Hey, I thought we hated Undying. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. This is this is what you want when you have an Undying pick. You know, you want to oh, get I into the Fisticuffs. Saying. You want to pick on this 200 HP Morphling in the first two minutes. All right, this was their big play, was bringing the Tusk mid to make an attempt to kill onto the OD. As you can see, it's worked out handsomely. For Poblic. Team Romania. Oh my. Public has gone down. It's another soul rip. Boop is too big. Yeah, I think Bone Seven's gonna be just fine. He might do the the long walk of shame back home at this point in time with suiciding. Meanwhile, there's a DD rune now bottled up here for Flash. He's coming in. Oh, he's just young. 7 nil. Los Pachachos, they need something. This Luna, she's their... Wait, Luna's on the other team. This Morphling, he's their... He's their hope, and it's he's not dead. looking great. Morphling's in a lot of trouble. Now, it is a pretty big Fatal Bonds. This Luna's gonna take some damage, but Morphling, he might die to this double damage wisp. Flash is going in right now. He's healing up his Luna. He's doing damage and mitigating damage. This guy does it all right now, Trent. He's, you can't even see the double damage. That's how broken these cosmetics are. Yeah, and even if he got that shards, there's no way that he dies, obviously, because as Tether, always up, and now they're going to fully what was bottle that? back. Did you say four bounties for uh, Team Romania? Yes, that's <laughs> pretty good. They're up 6K at five minutes. The question is, all right, will Spain get a kill? Because Omni's dead. Uh... Yes. I mean, there's an Undying, dude. They're definitely going to kill this Undying at some point. Dude, how is he still only level 2? This is, kills are worth nothing, man. Yeah. He's going to be 6-1 in a second here. OD was like, I'm not even going to make dude, it in he's time. I'm just heading back. Two. God, kills are useless in this game. They give you nothing now. Depressing. Wisp giving the balls. Uh, Undying's doing the old nighttime uh, run through as well, so they don't know he's now rotated all the way down here. He's gonna make a surprise entrance in the bottom lane. Was that Bone Seven's music? What was a haste run too? Dude, they're uh, they're getting slapped around right now. This is this is tough. You look at that net worth breakdown, and you're kind of like, well, shit. That's five heroes in the red on the top oh, of the chart. No. Bone seven. He's got the chair. <laughs> Dude, give Bone seven another kill. Give him seven kills. <laughs> seven kills. This is the best game of Bone Seven's life, actually. Yeah. Yeah. This is one of those moments where I, I wish I had some professional wrestling highlights queued up so we could just pop those with some picture in picture. Bone seven is has more kills than minutes. That is impressive. On undying. Even when you're winning this hard, that's impressive. This guy, he's buying drums. He's buying some real items. Radiance bottom tower is under Boop doesn't even know what to do, man. Oh, he's, he's buying a bracer. I saw the windlace and got excited. Wait, I heard an OD ult. He just killed Public and Pika. Okay, he lives. Dude, 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 dude. Both seven, what are you doing? There's no creeps. Boop's oh, here, safe. dude. Boop's here, dude. All right, this might be the kill. Boop, did Someone he bite off more streak? than he can chew? Now he's got a soul rip. Now he's good. He's good. Oh, Bone 7. It's crazy. Bone 7 from the rafters. I can't believe he's going to be level 3 at like 8 minutes still. Oh, here we go. Here's the XP. Oh, no, he's ditching. He's letting his eye get 6. What a nice guy. I would totally be in on this. Be like, oh, wow, Wisp, you're going to kill these? Okay, great. I wish I could play core Wisp. You can actually farm ridiculously fast in that hero. Warlock going to get picked down bottom. Yeah, I'm just watching him jungle, too. Core Wisp, dude. We saw it in Rivals. 
We did. I confirmed. What a legend. I've actually seen it in some of my 3K pubs. Not often, but occasionally a core whisk player pops up and they shred. They're usually pretty good. I mean, it's very unorthodox. And it just does a lot of damage. It's kind of broken that the little wisp balls just like do damage to creeps and keep spinning. Yeah, it's kind of necessary though, I think. Yeah. It does give the hero like a farming recovery mechanism. Yeah, Romania versus Germany is going to be really hype. We need to watch that matchup for sure. Is that not on the mainstream? Lucid Beams flying around here, Trent. Quops in. She wants this wisp. Flash. He's getting low, but so is Pika, and Pika's dead. Triple kill. I can confirm it is not on the mainstream, so we, uh, we're we going to have to get that one. All right. It is the fourth match. Germany, Romania. That's it. Yeah, that will be our fourth game. Oh, Women's World Cup is on. I forgot to watch the opening day. All this country talk reminded me. Where is it this year? Is that the one that's in U.S. Canada? No, it's in France. Ah, oh, France. Uh -huh. So France. May we. Dude, France 4 owed South Korea. Oh. <laughs> Although, USA, man, we're favorites. It's like one of the few international sports that USA is favorites in. Yeah. I Women's mean, even Canada soccer. is okay in it. It's because we have development <laughs> women. That's, yeah, that's true. Why? It's true. Trophy, he's going to die. You know, bud, you might have been right about this. I don't know if the Radiant are getting a single kill. This has snowballed worse oh, than no. I think any other game I've ever casted. I don't know I'm if so, I've I, ever seen a more one-sided match, honestly. How? How can you be 7-1-3 on a hero and be level 4 at 10 minutes? It's crazy how much XP is in creeps these days. It actually blows my mind. Like, that just seems just stupid. Get those creep like, stocks, Have we reached the point where that's too much? I don't know. He's, he's been everywhere. I mean, a lot of his kills were early, obviously. I don't know. It just seems kind of crazy. So uh, Germany-China is going to be on in World Cup at uh, 7 a.m. my time. So I'll pop that on the fourth monitor here. Put that on the picture-in-picture. Picture. You know, that's uh, what the Russians used to do at the summits. Anytime there was an international sports event event on, they would always just get an extra monitor and watch that while they were casting. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me in the slightest. They love it, dude. They are, I mean, by international sports event, you mean soccer. Really anything. Like, especially Velot, he watches, like, literally every sport. He watches NFL. Like, he watches anything he can get his hands on. He's just a fucking sports fanatic. Oh, Bone 7 just gave the vision for that ulti. That's why. Is that going to be his death? No. no. I was going with the save. Look at this, dude. They've got the Wisp. They've got Astrals. Oh, change the flag size. Up that Romanian flag. Oh, good call. Jack it up, dude. All right. Throw the plus. going to be 90, 98% win probability right now. 15k lead at 12 minutes. An absolute stomp. They're large and in charge. Dude, I remember. Uh, <laughs> that's a nice size fly. I remember at the perfect. first the first summit, we were like, we weren't sure what the atmosphere was going to be, and we didn't want it to be too laid back, and we wanted to try to keep like drinking to a minimum during the the game hours. And the Russian commentary team just showed up with booze. That was the first thing they did, and none of us had the brass to like say anything to them. And it, by the end of day one. It was clear that they had set a very casual vibe for their broadcast. Casper was like, <laughs> legs up on the desk, crossed, oozing in the chair, one hand on the mouse, the other hand holding a beer, no hand on the keyboard. <laughs> that was the analyst for that game, dude. That's looking to be me by about game four or five here, I think. Yep, I think so. <laughs> Given the late start, the hours, if uh, we continue to see slaughters like this, I, I think that's about where it's going to get. But hey, that's Dota, baby. That's playing to win. I I bet the OD is going to die. 
That's my theory. I think they're going to have two deaths. One will be the OD and one will be the IO. That's my bold claim for the end of this game. What do you think? Being on bananas? Mm, kind of. But I still think it's the Undying. I, I, I think it's going to be Boop. I think he's their front liner. I think he's going to get a little too excited. No, so here, this is why my prediction makes sense, you see. Because what's going to happen is he's going to dive too deep. The OD's going to come in for the Astral. He's going to Astral the Undying, and then he's going to get control because uh. he's not going to buy defensive items because they're stomping so hard. Mm. And then the IO comes in to save the OD, and they both die. And then Bone 7 walks away. See, I've already thought this all out. I mean, that's a thought. That really is a thought. You know, I, I'm thinking about it. I don't know if I've ever seen a no-hitter, so to speak. Like, in a true pro game, have you ever the seen... E wasn't the EGIG 22-0? That might be... Okay, yeah. Is that, like, actually the only one? Because I, I, I don't think, think I've ever cast one. one. other one. That was um, ESL. ESL 1, where that happened. Um... But I don't know of another one. A lot of games have been played, though. There's been a lot of pro matches, to be fair. But still, it's pretty rare. I think rare. Was an EG Liquid. I think you guys are right. I think that happened to them, too. Luna. Yes, There's the relocate out. Dude, that Furion ult just shredded their whole team. Yeah, dude, he's level 12. He's got the damage. GA comes out, and they're just going to limp away. They will live. <laughs> So that was pretty all right. I guess that did start as a gank attempt from the Radiant, though. So at the end of the day, it's still a victory for the Dyer, really. But, uh, hey, you know, at least Morphling is uh, ahead of the Undying now. So that's something. Oh, that was at the Bucharest Major, dude. We were there. That was the Sind and, uh, and Toby were casting it. Or no, uh, Toby and Purge, I mean, were casting it. And it was, yeah, that's right. It was a best of three. Liquid won game one. EG win uh, the next game without Liquid getting a single kill, and then they lose game three. Classic. Oh, Classic my God. EG. I remember that. I remember yeah. watching it from the green room. 26-0 for EG. Holy shit, dude. That's so crazy. I had completely forgotten about that. Oh, my. OD pops a pinata. Trophy's going to die. Yep. No, dude, you're right. I I actually Sorry, remember that. I, I remember sitting in that little green room. I can picture where I hung up my jacket, weirdly enough. Some weird details are coming to mind. I don't think we were casting anything. I think we were just chilling, dude. Yeah, we were just hanging out. <laughs> what is with the flag? Well, this is a, a new production value that, uh, much like the net worth indicator, that, that we helped bring to Dota 2 thanks to Pimp Monkey's genius and... Uh, the dedication of Moonduck to make sure everyone knew about it. We're going to bring in uh, Logo. Uh, what are we calling it? Dynamic Sizing. Dynamic <laughs> Sizing <laughs> Team Logo. According to performance. Oh, The Rock. This is the kill, dude. They're going in. They're going in hard. The no-hitter is about to be broken. Oh, he's going to die. Here it is. Now the Isle needs to die. Holy shit. Trent might have called oh, it. Now Boop's in trouble. Boop's gonna live. Dude. Alright. If Flash dies, I'm a genius. <laughs> it's all we need. As long as he just dies, it's fine. So this is uh, Team Dude. Romania versus Dude. Team Spain. Snowball Dude. in. Dude. Flash in trouble. Come Trent on, might be the prediction. God, no. <laughs> it was one second on cooldown. Oh. Oh, come Maybe. on. Bob <gasps> wants it. And now Luna just lives. Oh my god, Luna's gonna live. Nope. No! And here comes the feed train. Yeehaw! Dude, the Radiant are right back in this thing. Oh, yeah. That's a dieback on the Wisp, dude. Look at those fat stacks, dude. That's a 10x game. I mean, Morphling did just die, but that's that's okay. I mean, he's he does not have buyback. All right, that's that's kind of game right there, but still. Arise has had enough. He's a hard worker. <laughs> he's just buying the VKV. 
No, it is true. Moonduck was the first to display the live net worth advantage. That is true. That is a moment we shouldn't forget. Can we watch some Captain's Draft 3 footage at Midas mode? Yes, that's definitely going to be a thing. Can we listen to Grand Grant cast our first event ever from way back when? I just want to watch those content pieces. The Great Name War and Draskal didn't say a goddamn thing. <laughs> Gets me every single time. What a ward. Got some forked vision there. We got a big talon. Hey, Bird right. talon. Oh, Luna's hasted. Monkey business. All right, no glyph, no buybacks. This is it. In fact, Omni Knight is the only one with buyback on the Radiant Trophy. Almost dies to the blade. Excuse me. See, you know, these guys are spoiled. As Omni might lose. That's the business, baby. Back to the high ground. Boop is in pretty deep. This undying dude, he is a tank. But he might have taken more than he can handle. Now Quap's going to jump out. Peek is giving it to him hard. Few more. No. Saved by Flash. Soul Rift's there. It was all just a great bait from Bone Nine there on the boop. The GG gets called. And 20 minutes in. Well, it's not a perfect game, but it's a convincing one. Dyer will do it again. And Team Romania continue their streak of dominance early on in this group stage.